Marty, no game in the championship for eight days. How was your mini break? <laughs> well, actually, it was as welcome for the, especially for the players, after such a demanding week uh, with long trips as well, demanding games. But I think it has been a fantastic window for us as a as a team as well to spend more time in the training pitch, to adjust things that we want to improve. And actually, we had a very good good week. As a head coach, I know you'll say you want to improve in all areas, but what specific areas would you like to see improvement in? We have been very, I think, quite uh, clear with the players about we have done a lot of good things so far in the last five weeks, but at the same time there are two, three areas that we were really aware that we wanted to improve. I think uh, actually in our way of playing, by trying to play this attacking football, we have been quite consistent defensively. Uh, perhaps only against the Stoke in the first half we were not as, as good as we would like. Uh, perhaps uh, during Preston first half we were not at the level that we would like to be on possession. But actually, so far in those five games, we never struggled to have really considered a lot of chances and so on. This is something that we are satisfied about it. But at the same time, we know that we need to be better a little bit on the high pressure. That we need to be better when how aggressive we are when we are in this mid block. Um, there are other areas of the game, the build up when we are building up from behind. Sometimes the, the sink in between the players, the movement is not there yet. I think this week has been very good to try to improve all those areas and keep on pushing on the last third because at the end this is where the goals are happening and this is where we want the action to happen. So I think the players are very committed in to understand how we can create more chances, how we can be more effective and how we can be really dominant. Six goals in the last two games, is that an indication that perhaps those points are now coming across and bearing fruit? It's an indication that we have quality in the team, it's an indication that, that there is quality in this team to, to make sure that we can create chances and then score goals. So I'm very glad about the work that, that the whole team has been doing, but as well, especially the guys at the top. I think that something that I'm very, very happy, for instance, is the second goal against Preston, because we talk a lot about the connections, these wide triangles and so on. But for me, it's very important as well that the two wingers connect to each other, even if it seems like they are very far away from each other on the pitch. And we like the, the wingers to keep the width for many moments of the game. When it comes to the last third, uh, I love when one winger is assisting the other one, as it happened in some way. So um, I think that the team is taking a little bit the ideas, and, and now it's about them showing that we have the quality, but definitely we have different tools, different kind of wingers, different kind of strikers, and that's a, that's a gift for a, for, a, for a coach. A word I've heard you use a lot since you've been here is remaining humble. It's important to be humble. When you first came in, the challenge was to lift the players because we'd had a difficult spell. After back-to-back -back wins, are you now having to make sure that the players do stay humble? I think, to be honest, I think that the players they do understand. They do, you know, when you are involved in the game as they have been doing, as, as I've been doing, you learn that what matters is today. That what you achieve yesterday in your career is not going to help you so much, actually. So I'm very happy for them. Don't misunderstand me. Very happy for them, for the supporters that that we managed to to turn a bit a difficult situation, but it's only been two wins in a row, so it's not that now uh, we can expect that the next game will be easy, it's not that we can expect now that we are already safe or whatever it is. The reality is that we're in a situation where we need to collect a lot of points and that whole will not be worse just because we won against Preston. That's not, that's not how football works. What we need to learn is that we need to perform probably at a much better level than we did against Preston if we want to get the three points against Hull, basically because the table is showing that Hull is a very good, is a very good team, they have a lot of quality individually and collectively they are performing at very good level. So I think that everybody understands that we want to build that feeling at home that we're very strong, we play a football that is very difficult for the opponent to cope with because we attack a lot, because we are, have a high intensity in the sense that we attack and again, that we're relentless, that we don't give them a lot of time on the ball. But knowing that that is not going to be easy to, to try to just win game after game after game because it's not happening any league in the world. Hull City are in sixth place and arguably one of the surprise packages of the season so far. In terms of the, the sort of game you're expecting, do you expect it to be two sides battling to have possession to try to dominate the game? Probably. Probably both teams we are built in a way that we want to have the ball to try to be dominant. I think that we show already in, in other games that, that uh, perhaps know which is a good reference, that just having the ball without creating a lot of chances is not the purpose. Then I prefer to be 40% in possession and create a lot of chances. Uh, for me, possession is just a tool. What it's true is 100% that they are a good side mm. and they are tactically strong, I will say. They know how to press, they have a clear idea on how they want to defend. 
think it's going to be very interesting to see if we can cope with the high pressure because they they press in a certain way that that we know that there are some spaces that we can use and at the same time uh, we know that the, on the ball they are very good they are a side that they can build in different structures they are a side that they know that that they have quality especially in certain areas of the pitch they can really hurt the opponent and it's going to be interesting to see how we who is more dominant so to say and at the same time uh, yeah who can at the end of the of the game as well to change a little bit the picture to make sure that we can get the three points and team news we know Morgan Fox is working his way back to fitness Sinclair Armstrong has some fe featured since Norwich and Albert Adoma as well um Sinks, uh yeah Armstrong Sinclair is very is very feeling very good he has been training the whole week with the team and, and actually he should be available for tomorrow game. So it's a very good news for us because he gives us another possibilities at the top. He gives us his pace, he gives us his physicality. So it's a very good news for us. Uh, Albert, uh, as you know, he had a small, uh, well, not a small, but a muscular injury in the game against Rotherham. And he's on his way back because he's working really well. Still, we need to be cautious because it's going to take probably a couple of weeks. But uh, he's, he's working at very good level already and, and showing a very positive progress. And the last one is Morgan Fox. That actually, today he had his first practice on the pitch after a long time. So very good news for him. Uh, he's showing fantastic professional ethics when it comes to his recovery and his rehab process. And hopefully he will be ready. We need to take it week by week, but hopefully in some weeks, few weeks, he will be ready to train with the team. And just finally, you said you want to make our, our home a fortress. In two games, you've picked up four points. How much would it mean to you to build on that on Saturday? Very much, <clears throat> because I think that we need to build this identity together with our supporters about making sure that we create this atmosphere all together with high intensity game, with offensive attacking football, uh, with the support of the, of the supporters as they have done and have been amazing in the last two games. So I want to create that kind of momentum through the game, knowing that, that it's going to be some moments, especially against a side like Hull, that probably it's not going to be easy. But I think that we are this, we build this relentless uh, mentality about no matter what, we want to take the ball and score a new goal. Hopefully we can be as strong as I think we can be.